Good morning, YouTube. Pastor Dave here, December 17th, 2011. And let me bring you a quick update. I'm on my Android phone. I, As you know, I took uh, the computer into the uh, repair shop yesterday. And I don't have it back yet. I was told to call them at 5 o'clock p.m. I did, and they said at 6.30 they were going to give me a call and uh, let me know if they've got it up and running. They never called me. I called them, and they were closed. So now I'm praying that they're open today. If not, because they were deciding whether to take a uh, today off Saturday, I won't get it till early next week. So I'm testing out my Android phone. Look at this beautiful picture here. That comes from Nancy, Alex and Nancy, and that's a painting that uh, Nancy has done of Jonah and the whale. Isn't that beautiful? And another beautiful card from Alex and Nancy. And George and Nell. Let me get up here. What a beautiful card. What a beautiful card. Okay, I'm just testing to see how long this will let me go. Now, we are one way or the other going to have our service on the Sabbath today. If it has to be done on the Android phone and it has to be um, done at a quicker uh, pace than normal, just because I don't know how much time this phone will allow me to record, one way or the other, Satan is not going to stop me. Now with the video I did uh, yesterday to explain what happened, how I got a virus, I think, and I want to warn everyone, I think it was Godlike Productions. I go there sometime just to get some kind of breaking uh, news stories that they put out. Some information they have is good and some is not so good. And as soon as I clicked on a link regarding Obama... Um, putting into law that the National Guard now, he's given authorization that they can arrest and detain American citizens and hold them uh, indefinitely as terrorists. As soon as I hit the news article off a guy like Productions, I got this big uh, warning, uh, virus has attacked your computer, and it wanted me to do uh, put in a credit card number. Of course, I knew not to touch that. And, so just be careful going to Godlike Productions. I just wanted to uh, mention that. Now, I did my video yesterday to explain about uh, how we're going to have the service on the Sabbath one way or the other. And of course, whenever I talk about the pre-tribulation rapture, I get my Christian brothers and sisters. They are just going to come and educate me and tell me how wrong I am and, and tell me that I'm... Uh, teaching a false gospel and all this and now my Christian brothers and sisters that do not believe that today Saturday is the Sabbath they have come after me again and you know it's really sad it's really really sad that this has to happen that there has to be conflict uh, among the church and we are the church our Christian brothers and sisters they have to come and they have to pass judgment, and it's just, uh, I don't know. That we, we are in the last days, and I will make it perfectly clear. You can worship your Heavenly Father any day of the week. You can go tomorrow, Sunday, you can go to that building you call a church, but the Sabbath is Saturday. The Sabbath is Saturday. You're not going to educate me. You're not going to school me. It's almost, to me, to people looking on, it's it's very discouraging. To me, it's a little amusing that uh, you are, are still a baby, still drinking milk when you want to tell me and educate me on when the Sabbath really is and when it should be observed. Okay, this is a test video. I'll be back and we're going to do our service on the Sabbath one way or the other. Shabbat Shalom.